here because today I'll be using something from Nivea Men. Uh, this was sent to me, I think, from someone from Italy. Um, it is a barbershop cream. It um, it smells fantastic. It has like a barbershop type of uh, scent to it. This is what it's like out of the out of the the box, and this is what the other side looks like, right there. So um, if you open it up, oh man, and that's what it looks like. See, you can see what it looks like right there. Um, we'll be putting this. I think in a brush and doing a face lather with that unless I change my mind I don't know um, but this is kind of unique it's this is um, a two-phase aftershave lotion from the same company and let me take it out of the box so you can see what I'm talking about what does two-phase mean well you can see that it's broken down in two different types of liquid here and uh, before you use this, you shake it, and then it allows you to apply both of those things. I'm not 100% sure, but this might be glycerin on the bottom. Don't know. But um, I'm going to use it anyway. <laughs> uh, so that's what we're going to do. Um, and also I want to talk about some, uh, some uh, streaming stuff I've been watching. So stick around. Don't go away. Okay, so... Um, I'm just going to open up this uh, this shaving cream and I have my brush here it's the wet the face brush I'm just going to take this out I'm just going to open it up and I'm just opening the cap and I'm going to run some uh, I'm just going to run some warm water over this I'm just prepping it up I'm going to shake it out a little bit and I'm going to take this I'm just going to Put a couple of dabs of the shaving cream right on the top. See, there it is. So that's what I'm going to be using. It's like a pink. I don't know if you can see that, but let me hold it up. It's sort of like a pinkish hue to it. And it smells just absolutely divine. So I'm going to put this on the side. We're going to be using the um, Occam's razor for the shave, but I'm going to I'm going to put some uh, water on my face right now. I'm going to wet the face. I have about um, six to seven days growth, so let me let me wet the face. Okay, and now here's the brush. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to it, and I'm going to start doing circular motions. And if I need more water, I'll just add it to it. But I think we're going to be okay. There you go. That's getting right in there. Yes, indeed. Very nice. Okay. Let me just wet the wet the razor down, and I'm going to start at the bottom here. So here we go. Very nice. So some of the things I've been I actually had the opportunity to see. Top Gun Maverick. Uh, I, I didn't see it on a big screen. It's now streaming. So I watched it. It was it was really it was good. And it was sad to see Val Kilmer in the condition that he's in. But um, 
you know, he's got a good friend with Tom. He put him in the movie. Didn't have to do that. Despite all of uh, the craziness that Tom Cruise has been through, you know, with his loves and movies and stuff, he seems to be a real stand-up guy. Um, so I saw that, and, and you could see like what they were trying to do. They were trying to capture the old, the old movie of '84. And a fun fact on that one: uh, the company I work for uh, did the jacket for that one. For 1984, and they also did the newest one for the new movie, too. So, crazy. And you know, what's real, what really sold a lot is the jacket we also did for them uh, the jacket that he wore on the motorcycle, that nylon one. That was a big seller too. So if you want to catch up on that, that's good. You can see that. I definitely, I recommend that. And I also was watching Harry or uh, Harry and Megan, that like four or five episode thing on how they were treated and so on. Uh, it was good to see the other, the, the other side and um, Harry seems to be, um, you know, he, he, he explained what we were seeing in the paper and what was actually happening, happening to them. And uh, I could see where, you know, what was going on. He made it very clear. I don't, I'm not going to take sides and who's right, who's wrong, who's lying. Who's using what, but it was inter interesting to hear their side of the story. And how it related to Harry's mom and what she went through. So I found that interesting. And then the, um, oh, this other thing, it's called The Last of Us. This was, uh, wow, it was really good. Um, it was a video game. Or maybe it still is. But you can only see this game on the PS5, and I'm an, an Xbox guy. But um, The Last of Us is now a series where you can see it on, uh, I think it's HBO Max. So, it's, I think they're up to the second episode. One episode a week on Sunday. I won't say anything about it, but it seems to be very good. People who know the game, they probably already know everything about it, so I don't. So, oh, look at that. And there's a something I caught, it's called Your Honor. It's been on, but it's on its second season. And uh, that looks good. I'm, I'm, I'm watching that. It's got uh, it's got the guy from Breaking Bad as the main character. He's a law. He's a he's a judge. 
his son gets into an accident, but his son, uh, while in the accident, uh, he he hits a predominantly uh, high-ranking gangster in the mob. You know, one of the leading gangsters, and uh, the judge, his father, that seems to be not doing the right thing, <laughs> trying to get his son from getting killed by the gangster guy. So that I'm, I'm still watching, still going through it. And then uh, the last one, which hasn't aired yet, but I'm really waiting to see the first episode, is um, Poker Face. So there's this girl who her ability seems to be uh, to know when someone is lying. She just has a knack to know when someone's lying. And I don't know what it's all about, but it seems very interesting. It saw as that girl Natasha, she's got red hair. You'd know if I, I'll put a picture up on it. She's, uh, she's been through a lot in her real life. And it seems like she's coming back, you know. So here I am. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. The combination of these two, really nice. But if you don't like, you know, I'm, I'm then feeling the, the glycerin. It's very, it's very good. But if you don't like a little greasy feeling, then this is not going to be for you. So there you have it. I had a great shave. Great, great products that I don't use as much. And I just remembered that I had them. So um, I hope you have a good shave too and a great shave.